extremely difficult to, to photograph, yet bright and lustrous. Very, very interesting uh, piece from the uh, Tenke Fungurumu mine in the Katanga. Now, the yellowish material, I, I would suspect we're looking at um, girthite, so oxidation of hematite going into girthite. Then also, on some sections, we find heterogenite, little black, black, black waxy bottoids of heterogenite. Um, Typically on this material, I don't see any here under magnification, you'd be able to see them. Now what's interesting about this piece is that the, the crystallization of what appears to be malachite on the other side is slightly different to what happens on the, the front side. So this has got two points of display. Um, here we have almost elongated little uh, sprays of malachite needles, rather thick needles. So this is not the fibrous malachite, yet very, very bright and lustrous material. From a display point of view, I quite enjoy this angle. We have this little cavity running around like this. Going across. So we're gonna... There's a lot of bling bling to this piece. Um, very, very difficult to photograph. As you can see, the, the background is slightly overexposing. Let me just underexpose it slightly. That's maybe more accurate to the actual color, a rich dark green, with these almost plates of the girthite running through the, the, the uh, malachite sections. So, uh, lying flat, you'd have this effect. Look at all the little angles reflecting back at us. And then the other way around, maybe more typical of the malachite uh, from the Congo. No patterning though. I wonder if this is malachite. It's a little bit off color to the typical malachite. Uh, of course, as we sing it, it's a little bit overexposed. That's pretty more accurate, a little bit lighter than this.